what is up I'm continuing on here um why well, have some time here uh, this is the next figure in the Transformers Earthrise line that I got here from the from my good buddy Greg Monroe um, that sent me this package of Earthrise goodness um, this is the leader class Optimus Prime uh, we're gonna definitely take a look at him now and uh, yeah very anticipated to see this guy about time we get we get Optimus Prime with a trailer um, very nice artwork. You got the Optimus Prime on the side here, and a much, much bigger pi uh, artwork picture on the side here, so you can actually see more in depth of what other characters are in the picture. So, so anyway, here is the Earthrise Optimus Prime review. So, I'll catch you at the table here in a minute. Later. <laughs> Hey, all right, guys, we are at the table, and here is Optimus Prime busted out of his packaging. And my goodness, goodness, this is a cool figure. Um, just right off the bat, just let you know, he is he shares some of his characteristics of the original uh War for Cybertron Siege Optimus Prime, but not a lot. They actually retooled him pretty good. <laughs> Uh, Hasbro did a little sneaky one on this one. Uh, he retooled it pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, not much. He comes standard with his, uh, in his robot mode and with, uh, his trailer. Um, we'll, we'll sit these guys off the side since his packaging's huge. There you got a nice Autobot logo up in there. You can see. You got a nice picture of Optimus Prime looking on Prime. So, you can see the Crest Arc ship back in the background there, which is pretty cool. So, we got a big packaging here. It takes up almost a whole review station. Um, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. And uh, there's Optimus Prime's artwork once again. Leader class. And on the side here, you get a nice picture of what's going to be coming up. Got Megatron. Optimus Prime. You there you got Wheeljack, Hound. Trailbreaker, Bumblebee. Not sure what uh, what else is going on there, but there's Sideswipe. Shockwave. Double Dealer, which is... Which is this character right here? That's double deer, and you got the Quintus on there, which is pretty cool. So, all right, on the back you got your obligatory product shots of Optimus Prime. He transforms in 35 steps. He connect. He can connect to all the new base attachments, and uh, he can do this. He can be a truck. He can be a robot. Yeah, he's a truck, right? Uh, <laughs> So nothing much going on here with the uh, authentic transformers on the back, and that's about it for the packaging, ladies and gentlemen. So moving right along, here we have Optimus Prime with his work bay. Uh, sadly, he does not come with a roller. Um, that's a little bit sad, but uh, he does come with his nice display, uh, like his trailer. Um, very neat. You can actually straighten him up. Straighten him up here and send that in here if you want. And give him that. Like uh, he's getting worked on kind of thing. Or whatever you want to do. Um trailer, right off the bat, nothing much going on with the trailer. It's Optimus Prime's trailer, of course. Um, does not come with roller. You can roll, rotate this down, bring this up, leave that there for storage. And there's another spot. You can actually take this off of Optimus Prime's trailer. And uh, if you really want to, just fold these little arms up like this. Like so. And uh, there's a port on the back of his. You can actually replicate Sideswipe's jetpack a little bit if you really want to. Um, I don't know if it shows. It shows this as a. Uh, it shows this as a, an upgrade for him. Um, to have this up here like this. 
but uh, you can actually mimic the jet pack because these could look like jet thrusters because this is all just grayed out. Um, let's switch it around. And you can basically make that a jet pack. My opinion. But you can have that little detail going on with him. You want. Got the weapon ports. You can just peg this back on. Just pegged in with the two plugs right there. And uh, you can see all the weapon ports. You can put all his weapon, other Transformers weapons in here. And there is a spot here. There is a spot here. I'm thinking that it might be just for Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, it must be for... But it looks like there's a spot for a roller to get tabbed in there. So we might get roller in the series, maybe. I, I'm not sure. But, uh... Not much going on. You got the porch right here, like I said, on the sides here. You got a little nub right here going on there. So that could be a port for a future roller coming. So fold that back down and uh, fold the trailer back up. Before we fold the trailer back up, we'll grab a shield. Um, this is some tabs from uh, the trailer, which is pretty cool. You just slide it down in these grooves here. Slide it down here and it clips in, which is pretty cool. It's part of the trailer trailer door. So you can have him with a shield. I was wondering where, where he came with his shield because I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan with the shield. You can have him hold it, plug it in there, plug it in here. Yeah, it's whatever you want to do with it, but uh, mainly it's the trailer. Close that up, and you get a nice little kickstand underneath. And there's this basic trailer. So, so yeah. All right. Now Optimus Prime himself. He's basically a, a retool of the. War for Cybertron Trilogy. Um, here's a shell shaded, shaded one. 35th anniversary one. So. Basically. They took the same head. Which is cool. They took this, They took his head. Um, basically shares, shares the feet. If you can see. Shares the feet. Except for the feet's colored differently. But shares the legs more than anything. Except for the little junk in, in here. But uh, all in all, basically the same same characteristics of the figure, but they retooled it, and uh, I like it how they did it. Very cool. So yeah, very cool. Now transform him. Uh, well, back his other stuff he comes with is his uh, <clears throat> his blaster. You can transform it, clip it together, like so, and then you can store it on his back, like so. You can do that. And uh, if you do have the Deep Space Arsenal upgrade kit, like uh, Energon Axe, um, this will not fit this figure this time, but uh, you have to figure out how to do something, because he's... The, these fists here open and close on Optimus Prime different. So, you can't really just post it on, like on the, the Siege version. But, uh, eh, again, what could you do? So, his arms can open and close, which is cool. So, size comparison wise, let's bring in some previous reviews. Here is Ironworks Deluxe. And hoist, which is a deluxe. So there we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And if we really want to, here's side swipe from Siege. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> moving right along. Uh, the transformation of him, before we get to that, we'll get down to the details on him. 
See Optimus Prime got all about logo. Silver on the stacks. Very nice. Glossy blue hands and glossy blue head. Um, nothing's really glossy. It's like a shiny blue. It's like a shiny blue on his hands. Got the nice silver on them. Very nice. Aesthetic to a uh, nice G1 Optimus Prime. Very nice. So. So, yeah. Had to feed my puppies a treat. I don't know. You like a treat. Good, huh? But, uh, yeah. Optimus Prime, uh, you can actually holster his gun while he has it back here. You can actually have it back here like this. And, uh, he can actually holster his gun. Untab it from the back. Make it look like it. And then he can transform his gun while he's bringing it forward. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool how you can do that with this weapon. So, not much going on. Uh, other nice little gimmick. We finally got the Matrix of Leadership in him now. Which is awesome. It's removable and it's very tiny. So, here is a nice little Matrix of Leadership. Very cool. So you can put that back in there. He can hold it too. He, he can hold it. You can't really get his hands together unless you put, it, put his hands way up in the air. Now lights are darkest hour. <laughs> so you can do that. Put the matrix back in them. Don't have to worry about it for a while. So yeah, <laughs> nothing much going on with him. Let's transform him into his vehicle mode, shall we? Um, yeah, definitely. Let's transform him. Basically, right off the bat, stick his legs together. Transform these sections here, and you're basically done with this section. Basically, bring this section up. <clears throat> Sections out, his arms out. You can basically see how this is going to work. Rotate, bring the section up. And it's cool, his fists actually get put away instead of being exposed. She gets put in those little compartments, which is awesome. All right. Next up, I want to try to untab this little section here. Oh, damn. I'm trying to unpack this section here. Man, that's tight. Woo! Let me get my tweezers here to try to help me get this broke loose. There we go. That tabs in very securely. All right, bring that out. Bring bring this head back here in a minute. This whole section will come up like this, like it's already at. Then this section here will come up like so. And this section will come up, and this will tab in. Come on, should tab into place. There we go. Next up, you want to take these panels, bring these panels out, bring these panels out. <laughs> now you can have clearance to bring his head down in the body cavity here. It's pretty cool. Bring that up. Down. Clip it in. Clip this piece back in. Bring his arms just like a classic Optimus Prime, but don't forget to move these pieces here out of the way. I'll show you again on this side, this piece here. Put 
bring these pieces back. Then that gives you clearance to put his fist in there, his arms. Like so. And basically you just clip these panels back together. Like that. And then grab the fuel tanks, unpeg them from his legs. And boom, we got an Optimus Prime back in his uh, red and blue truck. A shocker, right? Fold his gun up here. And then there's a peg hole right here. It's from his backpack. And that's going to get stored back here. Not really noticeable. So, very cool. So, nothing much going on. And then, all in the hole. Get rid of the kickstand. One gripe about this. They could have moved the trailer port back here a little bit. One little gripe. You could have moved the move this stupid trailer port back here because it's way up here it's hindering everything now if you want to put it back here would have been nice so i'm sure someone's going to make a little upgrade kit to post something in here and bring it back like a upgrade kit or something um could probably just make something myself uh bring some peg it in here and then bring it back and have a little open port right there just for that because it actually looks better right there but uh that's where the trailer is supposed to port and yeah if they were going to give him a trailer they should have retooled his legs a little bit more uh, <laughs> but all in all very cool other spine can roll very nicely and uh one thing that actually is weird you can see his wheels are nice painted silver Except for the front ones. I'll get a silver pen. And uh, take care of that. Before I put them back in the box. When I'm done displaying them. But uh. Yeah. Couldn't, uh, Hasbro couldn't. couldn't uh, didn't. Didn't, uh, didn't want to skip the silver on it I guess. They couldn't, couldn't skip the silver. They skipped the silver on the wrong point. But yeah. They just got this fuel tank silver right. But. Oh no. Very cool. You can move this back and forth, all that. Yeah, it's a truck. Now you see Jeltimus Prime has the same problem. So, whenever they retooled his legs, basically these legs are swapped around on uh, Jeltimus Prime. And I did forget a transformation defect. Because these panels here actually come forward. So, that's one thing I kind of forgot. Oh, well. Again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Eh, very little little piece right there. Now, that, now you can see where that, that port is. Where they actually located it. So, that's where that, that is. Because remember, you spread his legs apart here. This here is on the outside. So, yeah. It is what it is. But, yeah, it's cool. You can actually hook up to a trailer now. This is awesome. We got a trailer for Optimus Prime. Woo! But, yeah, very cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually surprised they didn't chrome his trailer out a little bit. <laughs> um, that That's like a light blue. Very nice. Got the Allbot logo on both sides of the trailer. So, very neat. So, if you want to, you can unpeg this section here just to, just, oh, come on, there you go. Peg that section here. You can put MicroMasters in it. Um, Prowl. Prowl, eh. You can fit someone in there, but you can't really shut the door. Oh, there we go. And you can shut the door. So you can haul Prowl around inside and deploy them without losing the shield. That's my one gripe about the shield. But, uh, like I said, with Ironworks or uh, Hoist, they got the, they got the base attachments. They got these base attachments, so I'll just unpeg this from the trailer. So, basically, you got these base attachments, and you can clip it together. So, I got the butt flap. Back here, now you get the butt flap, <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, it's a playability figure uh, feature, but eh, it is what it is. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So yeah, very neat. Highly recommended right out of the box. Um, I played played with this guy a little bit, and uh, this figure is really good. They did a really good job on Optimus Prime. Again, they're on the details of the truck, more better. But uh, they can basically see for themselves. Very nice truck. You can't really tell that's a transformer a little bit. Um, you got like a <laughs> the uh, the fluorescent uh, blue crotch showing though, but <laughs> it's funny. But it's cool. A little, a little gripe is uh, the little gray on the wheels here. Uh, we got silver here, but we don't. Yeah. And these one, these uh, wheels here kind of look like the ones from the use for uh, for Ultra Magnus. I might have been wrong, but uh, very cool. Highly recommended. Like I said, uh, I'm going to pick his gun, transform this bad boy. Basically, just unclip all these panels here. <clears throat> all right. We'll click, quickly transform him back to his robot mode. You know, got that open. <laughs> Bring his head up first. Bring it peg up. Peg it in. Like so. There we go. In here, pull that peg in. These panels. Bring this panel in. This panel in. Then unclip this panel. Let's bring it down. Like so. Then this will bring down like so. Now watch with your Optimus Primes, ladies and gentlemen, because whenever you pull this panel down, like this, you're going to have to watch whenever you transform him. Just make sure, you might have to trim this down a little bit. I've seen a couple of YouTubers um, complaining about that little piece right there. Mine fits alright, just, just be careful where you're doing this. So you put a little bit of stress on the plastic a little bit. Mine's not stressed yet yet <laughs> keyword um so basically put his rib section back that his uh wheel butt flaps here <laughs> peg his legs all right there's Atmos prime in his robot mode in all his glory and uh yes this guy is highly recommended so so yeah there's my take on the review of the new transformers earth rise leader class optimus prime and uh definitely super super awesome figure highly recommended so until further ado Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, wonderful review. I uh, try not to keep it too long for you guys. So, till next time, this is Transact38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos to do. Keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And uh, don't forget to check out everybody's links down in the description down below. Until next time, this is Transact38 talking again. I'm out. Later. Peace.